You ready? Am I so? Oh, no, you're no just I'm just saying, are you yeah, ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You're, Let's you're ready? do this. On a scale of one to ten, how ready? No, we're just going to do this. Uh, this is Jacob and Megan. And we are in the Vintage View showroom. And we're doing something that we like to do. Uh, drink wine and talk about design. So before we get into today's topic, which is the, uh, the types of modern wine, actually the types of wine cellar design in general, we're going to fill up our glasses. Got a great wine from Sonoma, California. This is the Gunlock Bun Shoe Mountain Cuvee 2016. Uh, Gun Bun for short, it's impossible to spell, but a uh, great little winery right off the Sonoma Square. I've had this wine many, many times. It is my go-to $20 bottle of wine. I drink it whenever I can. <laughs> which is probably too often. <laughs> so, Megan is new to the wine tasting world, so we're going to a swirl. Got it. We're going to smell. Take a sip. Okay. And we're not going to bore you with the flavor profiles, other than this is a big, meaty, awesome wine, and go buy it. And it's going to get us in the mood to talk about today's topic. So, that's a great segue. Mm hmm. Uh, in your mind, what are the three types of main design styles that you would see in a, in a wine cellar? So I would say what we typically see is traditional, modern or contemporary, and we'll talk about that, and then transitional. Yeah, that that's definitely uh, covers a, a wide swath of things. So let's, uh, in your mind, um, traditional. Talk about what that means to you when you hear that 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 idea. What what are you what are you seeing? So what I typically see when I think of traditional is more um, it incorporates more wood into the design. Um, it's darker wood. It's more earthy, darker vibes in the lighting and whatnot. The lighting's more muted, um, and that's kind of what you see those are typically like in the basement ones yeah and it's cool because our founder uh, Doug McCain um, invented this wine rack that is uber contemporary it's super modern um, yet when you look at his cellar it's a prime example of how a traditional cellar can look with label forward design um, he's got these deep wood tones you know the label forward wine racks with a darker I think they're it's actually the original wine bottle green um, finish that they had and you feel like you've gone back in time and you probably are going to drink some wine with some cellar dust on them. And I really, I love it. He, always give, he usually gives me a nice bottle of wine when I leave there. So it, uh, oh, it, nice. it adds to, <laughs> it adds to the, uh, the reason to go visit him in Castle Rock. For sure. Yeah, and we'll, we'll link to it. There's a great video of that project and we'll link to it in the, in the comments below. You know, so on the opposite side of the traditional design world is the, the modern and contemporary design world. Something that's very new to wine cellars, mm -hmm. um, or at least in the last couple of years. What, do you, what are your thoughts on how that works and what those look like? Well, since modern and contemporary have a slightly different definition, but they're very similar in the design world, what we see is more metal racking, clean lines, um, less wood involved. So you're gonna have, things are going to be more spaced out, um, almost a little more airy. Yeah, and there's a, a great example of uh, one of our designers, um, Ultramod Home Concepts in, in Southern mm -hmm. California, Newport Beach, I believe. Um, she does these great spec homes, and uh, some of them are, one of them that is actually her home that she lives in. And she puts these things, they're almost more entertaining spaces than they are storage. You've got like space in between the, mm -hmm. the columns of wine. Um, she often photographs them with like bottles every other, you know, hole to just really give it that minimalist look. Um, blends into like cool kitchen design and uh, you're just ready to party, I think. Like, uh, granted, you can also do these in fully conditioned climates too, so you can do super modern and keep your wine safe. Um, you just have to kind of choose what you're looking to do and, and what types of wine you're going to store, but really cool stuff. Yeah. So, you know, um, we've talked about traditional, we've talked about tr uh, modern, and then there's what I consider the best of both mm -hmm. worlds, which is transitional, kind of a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Yeah. Um, talk to me about how you see transitional design in the wine cellar environment. So what's great is that um, in the transitional, you see a little bit lighter woods with the reclaimed woods that mix so well with different glass and metal that just really mesh together to form this in-between yeah, as you said. Absolutely. And, and I see this a lot when we get project photos from some of our clients who might come from California or some other modern design mm -hmm. hotbed. 
and then they get a second home in like Aspen or Park City, yeah. like the lucky people that we wish we were. Yeah. <laughs> and what they want is they love all of the the traditional mountain stuff, but they don't want to commit completely to that design. So you you start blending in stone, metal, wood. It feels like a ski town, but it feels like a modern ski town. Yeah. And you know you go skiing all day, and then you have like this little opera yeah. ski. And um, if you're one of those people who has one of those cellars, um, please invite us. We'd love to come take photos, and we'll bring a good bottle of wine. Mm-hmm. We promise. Um, um, and yeah, so that's that's it in a nutshell. It's yeah. just beautiful stuff. So that kind of wraps up the big picture thinking of, of what we look at and design for wine cellars. Um, so thank you for joining us. Uh, Megan, welcome to the team. She's uh, brand new in Vintage View World, uh, land, whatever you want to call <laughs> it. Um, and so we look forward to doing a lot more of these. Mm-hmm. And we look forward to discussing all sorts of topics that involve uh, wine and design. Cheers. Cheers.